Hello everyone and welcome to X-Plane 11. My name is Micah and today we'll be covering what a holding pattern is, what it looks like on a chart, and how to enter a holding pattern in the Boeing 737-800 Zebo mod. What is a holding pattern? A hold procedure and a holding fix? Well, a holding pattern is the usually oval course flown by aircraft awaiting further clearance, especially to land as defined by the Webster Dictionary, or a hold procedure, which is the predetermined maneuver, which keeps aircraft within the specified airspace while awaiting further clearance from an air traffic control. And of course, it's defined by the FAA Pilot and Controller Glossary. And a holding fix is a specified fix identifiable to a pilot by navigational aids or visual reference to the ground used as a reference point in establishing and maintaining the position of an aircraft while holding, as defined, of course, by the FAA Pilot and Controller Glossary. Generally, a holding pattern is utilized by air traffic control to create spacing, hold an aircraft during an emergency, keep an aircraft out of the local airspace temporarily, and many other reasons. Pilots may utilize holding patterns to burn off fuel, try to figure out an issue with their systems, and so forth. So, what does a holding pattern look like? We are on the tri 4 arrival into Cleveland Hopkins International, and it just so happens that there is a holding pattern already set for us at Hefner. Let's break it down. In a holding pattern, you have the following elements. The holding side. This is the side of the course that will, you will make your turn into. And the non-holding side. This is the side you're turning away from and not flying your aircraft into. You have your holding course. This is the direction of travel. Your course you will fly into the holding pattern on the assigned arrival. Now I should state that you are entering a holding pattern several different ways. There's a parallel, direct, and offset entry. The most common is direct entry. The other two, parallel and offset entry, are more advanced and will not be covered here. The reciprocal of the holding course is called, you guessed it, the reciprocal. You have the inbound leg and the outbound leg, each with a direction of travel indicated here. You have a fix or position you will initiate your hold at. This can be numerous different things, including a fix, a waypoint, or a VOR. You then have a fixed end of the holding pattern and the outbound end of the holding pattern. Lastly, you have the abeam, which is 90 degrees off of the fixed location of your entry. Holding patterns have some general restrictions on them. Uh, if below 14,000 feet, aircraft will maintain 230 knots during the hold. Between 14,000 and 20,000 feet, aircraft will maintain 240 knots in the hold. And between 20,000 feet and 34,000 feet, aircraft will maintain 265 knots in the hold. Above 34,000 feet, aircraft will maintain Mach 0.83. Now, of course, there are holding patterns that are restricted to Category A and Category B aircraft only. These holding patterns, you can only fly 170 knots during the hold. There's a bit more to a DME hold as the distance of the holds are done with miles instead of time. And ATC will specifically give you your DME in distances to perform your turns. Now, we won't be getting into the DME holds here, but those are available if, on the website link below as well. All turns in a holding pattern are the bank angle of 25 degrees or of a three degree every second turn on the general compass. For example, if you were flying at 270 and made a right turn, within two seconds, you should be at 276. As I mentioned at the beginning, we have a holding pattern at Hefner. Now this is one of the most common types of holding patterns as we will be entering the pattern direct and making right hand turns into the pattern. Now because Hefner is at 16,000 feet as we see here, we need to maintain at minimum and maximum speeds of 240 knots during the pattern. So we're looking for 240 in the pattern. With the Boeing 737, it's relatively easy to enter a holding pattern. First, what you'll go is down to the F and the S and select hold. You'll then select next hold and select the waypoint you wish to hold over, in this case, Hefner. And then you'll place it into this little scratch pad here. 
Next, you'll see a bunch of options to modify this hold. Right now, we're just gonna go ahead and execute it. Now this hold has been executed, and you'll notice, let me zoom out here for you, that if we switch to a further out view, you'll notice the hold has now been entered into the flight plan. And if you look on the legs page, you'll notice you'll have a Hefner hold right at Hefner. Now it's important to note, you'll notice the speeds are 280 and 265 knots. And if we go back to the hold, you'll notice the speed target is 265 knots. I have had issues in the past where the aircraft will overspeed during a hold. So what you're gonna do, again, since it's between the altitudes of 14,000 and 20,000, you're going to be shooting for 240 knots in the holding pattern. So we're gonna select 240 and slash, select it there, execute. And then we're also going to go into our legs page here and make sure Hefner is 240 and Hefner holding is 240. Now inside of the holding pattern here, you have a lot of options. You can change your radial, your inbound course, your right turn to left turn. You would just simply do that by going slash L and that would change it to the left side. You can change your leg time or your leg distance. For example, if you're doing a DME. You have a lot of other things that will appear as you enter the hold, best speed, hold available, fixed ETA, etc. that will appear inside of here. But as I mentioned, now we have activated a hold and we will go ahead and fly to that hold. And I will pick you up right before we enter the hold. As we approach the holding fix of Hefner, it's important to note that you want to make sure that you have slowed down prior to entering the hold. Otherwise, you may overshoot your turns to initiate your hold. Now, of course, we are doing a direct hold or direct entry into the holding pattern, which means we'll just enter straight in on the inbound radial and make a right turn into the holding pattern. Now, depending on if you're doing a direct offset or parallel entry into the pattern, you may see different magneto lines on your MFD, and that's okay. If you're coming in from this direction, you would see that you would have uh, a line that would be coming at this direction through the pattern before entering. If you're coming from this direction, you would see that we come down like this, and they would hit and make a turn like that, almost they call it the teardrop into the pattern. So a lot of options there. Go and switch that, get rid of that. Uh, not worried about that for now. So we're decelerating now in preparation to enter the hold. Notice the aircraft is slowing to 240 knots, which is what's been programmed for the holding pattern here at Hafner. I am aiding it a little bit with some speed brakes. And you'll notice that we are still up at 18,000 feet. And that's okay. Almost down to our speeds now. And there's 240 knots. Notice that once we've met our speeds, it has again started its descent. Because the aircraft knows, just like I explained, you need to make sure you don't overspeed your aircraft. You could be a little high when you enter the fix, uh, the holding pattern, but uh, you definitely cannot be too fast as you will overshoot your turns. I'm gonna zoom in here on the MFD so you can see it a little better. As you can see, the aircraft is now entering the hold. It's starting its right-hand turn at approximately 25 degrees or a three degree change in your direction every second. It's descending to 6,000 where it will maintain 6,000 feet and is maintaining approximately 240 knots. Notice that we are right there on the magenta line 
if you're going too fast, this would kind of swing out like this, missing this outbound uh, course here there. We'll let the aircraft fly one loop through the pattern. And once we get close to our fix again on the inbound radial, I will pick you back up there and explain how to exit a hold. All right, we are now on the outbound end of our holding pattern. As we approach our holding course, we are going to tell the aircraft we want to exit the holding pattern the next time it passes the fix. To do that, all we've got to do is go down to the holding pattern here and select exit hold. You'll notice it goes exit armed. This will ask you if you want to execute it. And if you want to execute the exit of the armed, I'm sorry, execute the exit. Oh gosh, too many, too many X's. Execute the exit of the holding pattern. You'll select execute. Notice that now the exit armed is now in the magenta. That lets the aircraft know that, it, or let you know that it is now active in its exiting of the hold. So if we look as we turn the corner here and approach the fix, you'll notice that we will exit the hold. If, for example, the air traffic control asks you to exit the hold at a different point, maybe it's not at Hefner, maybe it's at the outbound end or the uh, the fix end or a beam of the fix outbound, something like that, you can easily exit the hold simply by disarming the vertical nav, I'm sorry, lateral navigation by selecting heading selects. So you would select whatever heading they want you to do. Maybe it was exit the outbound fix or outbound end at 240 and you just select heading select and it would overrule your lateral navigation, therefore rendering the holding exit program in op. We'll let this uh, continue as it goes. And that holds true with anything, whether it's a beam outbound or on the fix end, whatever the ATC asks you to do, you have the option to do that uh, just by using the heading select on your MCP. Once we hit Hefner, you'll notice that the holding pattern will disappear and it will continue its arrival into the Cleveland area as if we had not even entered the holding pattern. Once we pass the fix here, again, you'll see the holding pattern disappear off your screen. We're almost there, less than uh, four miles now. You also notice the vertical deviation once you pass the fix here, it changes your vertical deviation, saying you're too high or too low. And once you actually, once you're exiting, you'll meet up with that, if all goes to plan. All right, you have now exited the hold, and you'll notice the aircraft has now started descending via the Try, try before arrival into Cleveland. So there you have it. That is what a holding pattern is, what it looks like, and how to enter and exit one in the Boeing 737-800. If you want to learn more about holding patterns, a link will be placed in the description below from a website that goes into greater detail about holding patterns. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and also be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live or when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time up in the sky.